Today we are reviewing this super impressive crib mattress that also happens to be only $30. I'm sorry, what? $300. Oh, $300. Hey, this is John from Fathercraft, and today we are reviewing the Newton Baby Crib Mattress and talking about why spending 300 bucks on a mattress for your baby may be worth it. Full disclosure alert here, the uh, kind folks at Newton did send us this mattress to review, but as with every other review we've done, our opinions are our own and in no way shaped by said kind folks at Newton. Also, there is an affiliate link to buy this mattress in the description below, so if you do decide to buy this mattress, clicking that link will help support this channel, and we would appreciate that. Okay, let's first take a look at the specs. This giant Rice Krispie looking core is actually 90% air and 10% food grade polymer. Actually very similar to a Rice Krispie treat when you think about it. This spaghetti blend of air and what Newton calls woven air polymer is supposed to be 100% breathable. So to test this claim out, I'm going to conduct the rest of this review with my face planted firmly in the mattress and see how it goes. This woven air core is wrapped with 100% breathable polyester. You can actually see right through the cover of the mattress, through the core, out the other side. I think you get the idea. Go ahead and put this right over here. The woven air core is wrapped with a removable and 100% washable polyester cover and is also breathe throughable. Breathable? Breathing enabled? The point is, you can breathe through it, as I just demonstrated. The mattress is also Green Guard Gold certified, which means it meets rigorous chemical emission standards. So that should help you breathe a bit easier when buying it. It's also 100% recyclable, which will help the rest of us breathe easier when you decide to get rid of it. There are also three different sizes that you can choose from. You can pick up the four inch mini rather easily, I assume, for 249 bucks, the standard five and a half inch for 299 bucks, or the waterproof standard for 350 bucks. So let's dive down into the heart of the mattress. As you can see, the mattress is mostly air in the same way that space is mostly dark matter. So we tend to focus on the large objects, but it's what's missing that's the intriguing part. Okay, I don't know where I'm really going with this, but bottom line here is that this spaghetti plate of polymer is porous enough to allow air to flow through it, which is why it's considered 100% breathable. I mean, there really isn't much more to say about it. This is one of those occasions where you're paying for what's not there basically, because it's more than just the plastic material covered in polyester. Is it fair to say that you're paying for air? No, probably not, but you are paying for the ease of mind knowing that your baby can breathe that air in the event that she gets herself into a potentially dangerous sleeping position. On a more serious note, this message will resonate with a lot of parents because of fears about sudden infant death syndrome, which is actually attributed to the deaths of over 3,000 babies under the age of one every year. Now, we can't say that this mattress will prevent SIDS. Now, any baby product that claims to do so should be avoided at all costs. But will this mattress help minimize the risk of SIDS? Probably, and that peace of mind can be invaluable to a lot of parents. Still, the 300 bucks is a lot of money to spend on a mattress. That could buy you, and I looked this up, 31 boxes of Rice Krispie treats, which is around 1,240 individual Rice Krispies. Now, each individual Rice Krispie is about four and a quarter inches by 5.8 inches by about two inches. Hear me out. Which comes out to around 48 cubic inches. Yeah, I'm doing this all in my head. Now times that by 1,240 individual Rice Krispies and you end up with about 59,520 cubic inches of Rice Krispies. Now a standard Newton crib mattress is about boob cubic inches. That's 8,008 cubic inches. Yeah, sorry, uh, 8,008 looked like it spelled uh, boot. Okay, well, never mind. So, based on my calculations, you can make yourself seven and a half Newton crib mattress sized Rice Krispie treat crib mattresses. In conclusion, these mattresses are mm, expensive. This fun math exercise brought to you by Fathercraft. Another downside is actually a result of how breathable it is. So the porous nature of the mattress means that bodily fluids, i.e. pee, will just drip right down to the floor, kind of like a car with an oil leak. But this is easily remedied with some strategically placed oil pants. Having said all that, would we still recommend buying this crib mattress? Yes, and for several reasons. One, because buying a cheap $50 mattress is just that, cheap. In all likelihood, it's not going to hold up over time, which will probably result in you having to buy at least one other mattress. And if you're planning on having more than one child, the Newton crib mattress becomes a great long-term investment. And given how washable the whole mattress is, meaning the core and the cover, it makes for a great hand-me-down item for friends or family looking for a mattress. It's also super comfortable, and that's definitely a factor to consider, especially because this mattress makes for a great transitional mattress for when your baby is moving out of the crib and into her own bed. Not only is it super comfortable, it's also extremely quiet, which will do wonders for your sanity when your child figures out just how fun it is to pretend your crib is a trampoline. <laughs> Loud, quiet. <laughs> 
Whoa, no springs, no squeaks. And on top of all that, it's free of harmful chemical fire retardants, which means your baby can both breathe easy and free of chemicals. At the end of the day, the Newton Crib mattress is a luxury buy, so you'll have to decide if the features are worth the cost. Now, if you're on a budget, then a firm flat mattress will likely suit your basic needs, but we definitely think that this mattress is strongly worth considering. All right, that's it. Be sure to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also leave us a comment below and let us know if you think that 300 bucks is just an outrageous amount to spend on a mattress or if considering everything you've heard that it might be worth it. Also wanna plug our online course for new parents and parents-to-be, Father's Ed, which you can find at fathercraft.com slash courses. And while you're there, check out our super neat t-shirt store. We also have a bunch of extremely helpful and free resources at fathercraft.com slash resources. So be sure to check them out when you're there. All right, people, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.